You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So, in this video, we're going to take a close look at the new Super Console X. So in the beginning of this year, I reviewed the Super Console X, different version, the Pro, you name it. These things come in all kinds of form factors and sizes. But this device is the latest edition. I just going to call this thing the Turbo Edition. The Super Console X is basically an Android box that they like re yeah, reusing the old technology. And what you're going to get is like quite some possibilities to play some retro games. Then we're going to get the deluxe toilet paper manual, or it's not really like a toilet paper manual anymore. It's like a very nice, high glossy manual. But the HDMI cable does a very short one, not really special. The USB hub, the reason they give you this, is if you want to use a four player configuration, you're going to need this because this thing only has a couple of USB ports. Then we're having the system itself. And for the people familiar to the channel, I've seen the Super Console X, this thing is new. It's by the way, like fully made of metal. It looks very nice. So. Yeah, the form factor, it's debatable if you like it or not, but it's a quite interesting concept. Here we're going to get the CF card, then we're going to get two USB ports. At the back, we're going to get the RJ45 Ethernet connection. The AVL function is here, but I don't know it's functional with this one. I tried it before, it didn't work. HDMI out, input and an on off switch. Very pleased with this because not all of these boxes have an AV out. But for the people who are not familiar to these devices, like basically this is an Android box where they put some MUL icon on the software that you can basically download yourself. But let's boot it up. Let's see how this freaking thing sounds. Is it going to be sounding like a vacuum cleaner? Ooh, it's quite loud. Ooh. Ah, it sounds like a tiny vacuum cleaner. But okay, it's better having nothing. So basically they added MULEC to this and preset it with a lot of emulators. So what you can see over here, we can play a lot of awesome systems. So handhelds, 8-bit, 16-bit, even up to the MSX2, it plays a lot of old school stuff. But when you're looking at, for example, the Nintendo 64, there we're going to get some issues most of the time. Because these are like low power cheap boxes and you cannot expect a lot of them from when it comes to especially like PlayStation Portable, stuff like that. I know it doesn't run GameCube, Wii and stuff like that you have seen before. For that, at the moment, you need to have like a beefy PC for that. But so, for the low expect stuff, I think this will going to be quite interesting. But let's take a close look at some gaming and just see how actually this thing runs. Alright, so next up let's try Sega Dreamcast, a system that is running okay on this box, but it will have some issues here and there, glitches, and that's due of the Mali GPU that they're using on these three boxes. Oh man, I don't know what's going on, but my controller's doing some weird stuff. But the performance in overall is not bad at all when it comes to this game. I was quite surprised to see that. Okay, so next up let's try Atomus Wave. And this is just a great game to test what this thing is capable of. And when it comes to these S905 boxes, I'm just going to be honest. It's going to be a mixed performance, especially with the more demanding games when it is for the arcade. Still, it's playable, it has some like weird thing going on, glitches, stuff like that. But overall performance, it's quite good. Now you can hear like it's stuttering. Alright, so next up, time for a main game. A great example is that this game will run just fine, but I need to point out when we're trying to Mortal Kombat 2 or 3, it will run like shit. So the limitation will be Mortal Kombat 1 in my opinion, and don't even start about killing things, stuff like that. Yes, tell me what we done. Okay, so that was a great test. Like, how will the D pad work? The D pad works fine. Okay, cheesy win, cheesy win. Flawless victory. Alright, guys, so let's take a close look at N64. Yeah, N64 this is always a system that will have a mixed performance with these low power chip. So, the S905 chip that is inside this machine. It's still powerful enough to run a lot of N64 games, but when you go to get in the more demanding, think about GoldenEye, stuff like that, it will not run perfectly. Stuttering, glitching, you name it. It also runs on the native resolution, I can just see it. It's kind of blurry like the original system. Because if you're going to get your like in beefy PC, you can upscale it to higher resolutions and N64 will re look really nice. But so far so good, this game runs fine. But don't even bother about trying to cruise in the USA, the game will not run at all or it will be like stuttering heaven. 
Ooh, yeah. Okay, so next up, PlayStation Portable. So when it comes to PlayStation Portal, I'm just going to say like, some games will run like a two-dimensional game like this, but you can see like it's going to be glitch heaven on the background. So PlayStation Portable, uh, you need more power for that if you want to play like a bigger library of games. But this game seems to be running just fine. Oh crap! All right, guys. So let's rip this thing apart. I just want to see what they created in the inside. And yes, we're going to break the seal over and over again. So the only thing that holds this shell together are three parkers. Yep, that's the only thing. And they're like very long, tiny parkers. And I'm pleased to see that I tried to improve. But the downside to these things like we're going to get minor improvements. So like basically they already do is like adding a fan to it. But when it comes to the specs, it's still the same. Okay, so the last screw have been removed. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see like the heads of the parkers are completely messed up. So they were very difficult to get out. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get with this gigantic beast. Okay, that is interesting. All right, so that is a kind of weird construction. So what they did is like adding the file with this piece of metal. Can see like this has been done factory wise because otherwise like you will see like rough cuts and stuff like that so i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised it would be like the next level or next generation of this super console x but what you're going to get on the inside is exactly the same board that we have seen with the other versions so it's purely like um, cosmetic combination with a fan that they changed out so the board is exactly the same so we're going to get ourselves the same kind of specs and yeah, this is actually like an one. Well, this thing had on board eight gigabytes, one gigabyte of RAM, and that's it. Like here underneath, we're going to find the chip itself. And I almost broke it. <laughs> nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's still here. It's still not broken. <laughs> but then these, yeah, they freaking glue these things to here. But I can tell you, like this, is like the same chip chips they are using. But overall like this is what you're going to get in the inside nothing really fancy if you ask me like here we're going to get this retro wi-fi antenna stuff like that because these boards are made a very long time ago here already says like the uh, mb s905 all right so this is what we're going to get with the super console x i just call it the turbo edition and i must say like they try to improve it but when you're looking at the specifications it's more of the same so it's basically a cosmetic fan and that's it like there is nothing else they changed out i wish they like went for the full upgrade and get ourselves like more beefy specs but yeah it's a good way they try to improve it here and there but yeah let me know in the comments what do you think of this i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell become one of the wicked family and i will see you in the next video